What is going on guys, Sterling here. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to customize our My Account page for WooCommerce. So let's open up the My Account page so you can kind of see exactly what it looks like by default. So we're gonna just come to the My Account page. If you type My Account, this is a page that's generated by WooCommerce. So any WooCommerce website is going to have this page automatically generated. This is where people can see their past orders, they can manage their subscriptions. Uh, they can see their downloads, their addresses, their account details, all this good stuff, and even log out. So uh, really, really useful, but it is not uh, real customizable by default. We're gonna run through some functions that are gonna allow you to make some, some customizations. I'm gonna give you all the code for that, but I will have a link in the description where you can go to our blog post and snag the code that you need for this. So we have all the code ready for you to just customize so that it works for your store. Um, but let's jump right into it. So there's a couple things that we're gonna do. Uh, number one is sometimes you don't want to display tabs. Say you're not even using downloads. You don't have any products that um, that are downloading. You don't want to have this downloads tab that just says there are no downloads available yet. Um, we could just hide this download tab or even subscription. Say you haven't released your subscription products yet, but you have it, you're still setting it up on the back end. You don't want to display your subscriptions. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to hide these specific tabs to come in and say, well, I don't want to hide, or, or maybe you don't want to have your logout button there. You want to put it up somewhere else or something. You can hide any of these different tabs or rename any of these different tabs. So we'll run through those, those scripts. So in order to achieve this, we will need to add some functions to our website. You can add these to your functions.php. Um, as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I would not suggest this. I would use a plugin. Uh, there's always the code snippets plugin, which would work great for this, or I'm using uh, advanced scripts and you will see why in just a second. So let's open up our advanced scripts. So here we are on that script page, guys. We are in the rename and remove account tab script. So I have two functions in here that are going to do, you don't have to use both of these. Um, you can just select the one that works for you. Um, but basically what we're gonna worry about doing first is renaming our tabs. So you can see that we are hooking into our account menu items and then we are calling our function and our function is basically just finding our items. We can search the item uh, the item by its name and then we can replace its title with whatever we want. So there's a couple things we'll have to do. I have these commented out right now, let's uncomment them. So uh, if we come back to our, let's come back to our My Account page real quick. You can see that this top tab says dashboard. Um, and dashboard is fine, uh, but if you wanted to maybe change what this says, we could come back to our script and then I actually added this item here. So I'm selecting my dashboard and if you want to find the name of a product, we will just come back to the front end. I will right click, inspect, and I am in Firefox, but you could do this in Firefox or Chrome. And then if we open this guy up, you can see that here it says my account link na or navigation link and then you can see how there's two dashes here and then it's highlights dashboard. So really we just need to grab this end name. So if we, we're gonna do it to the account details or to the addresses field, let's inspect. Cause it's a little bit more of a, of a tricky one. You can see how it says dash dash edit addresses. So we would just need to copy this edit addresses, uh, just the very end of this class here. And that's gonna give us the selector that we need in order to change this. So if we come back, you can see I have edit addresses actually in here as well. So we'll comment this one. So what's gonna happen when I activate this is the account home or my dashboard is going to be converted to account home. And then my edit addresses is going to be converted to your addresses. So this will become account home and this will become your addresses, not just addresses. So let's go back and we will save and activate our script come back to the front end and refresh. And then you're gonna see that, see this text swapped out to be account home, and this text swapped out to be your addresses. So we can really customize these and change the names of these to be anything we want. And it's that simple. All you have to do is copy and paste this guy down, go and get the correct selector, and then put in the text that we wanna swap it with. So super easy. Um, and I'm gonna comment these back out. I'll just leave these commented out. These are just examples for you guys to use, um, but really, really easy to update those. So now we're gonna talk about removing or disabling tabs. Now in this case, I'm selling products that don't require any downloads. I'm not selling any virtual products. I'm selling just physical products. I don't really want this downloads tab. Um, so I'm gonna come back to my script and we're gonna do something very similar. All you have to do, it's actually a little more simple than the rename, um, is we will uncomment this. All we have to do is find the selector. And like I showed you before, let's just come down to our downloads. We will inspect our downloads. And then if you look here towards the end of this link, 
you can see that it's just that dash dash and then download. So if we just use this download selector, so if we just use this selector, we're going to be able to remove or unhook or unset this downloads item. So we'll just uncomment this one real quick. We will save and activate. And this is all you have to change. And then if I refresh, let's get rid of this guy so we can see what's happening. If I refresh, you're gonna see my downloads tab completely disappears. Now let's say I didn't want to show my subscriptions. So I have subscriptions installed on my website. That's why this is showing up, but I'm still setting those up in the back end. I'm not ready to launch my subscription products for my customers. Let's come back and we will unset or we will comment in this unset subscriptions. We'll resave this script. And then if we go to the front end, you're gonna see my subscriptions tab will disappear as well. And then when we're ready, we can display these whenever we want just by commenting those out or turning the script off. So if we comment those out again and we save and come back to our front end, then it's going to actually show that downloads and that subscriptions tab again. Okay guys, now I have a third example. This is going to be a lot more advanced and a little more, uh, there's a little bit more to this script, but I wanted to include it so that if you guys wanted to add a custom tab to your members area, you could do that. So let's, uh, first of all, let's just activate this script. We'll leave this one activated, which we're just renaming our dashboard and our uh, address tab. And then we're also unsetting our downloads and our subscriptions. So let's save this script. And now that these are activated, we're gonna load up a script that I called add custom tab to my account. So we'll open this guy up we will collapse that sidebar and pop into full screen mode. Let's zoom in one more so we can see exactly what's happening over here. So in this example, guys, we're going to be adding a support tab to the very bottom of our tabs. And we're going to basically uh, just be letting our customers click into there. We can put custom text in there. We could put a form short code if we wanted so they could submit sort support requests to us. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're doing on this one. What you really need to worry about is if you didn't want it to be a support tab, this would be your endpoint. So this is gonna be your forward slash uh, URL. This will be your slug. And then we there's one thing that I do want to mention. We will need to resave our permalinks uh, or it will it will not work. And we'll show I'll show you that in just a sec. Here we can see that we're adding a, a new query for support. You don't really have to worry about any of this stuff unless you're changing it not from a support or a support tag. Let's go down a little bit more. So here we can see is our handsome support content that's being loaded. So we can say, so we just put in some, some default content here that says, hey, submit a ticket if you have any issues. So you could just have an email, a message to email your support email or something like that if you wanted and just change the content within, and you will take any HTML code, but change the content within these quotations. And I do have an echo do short code here below. So if you had like say gravity forms or fluent forms or something installed, you would be able to just comment in this do short code and plop your form code right there. If you put swap this out with your form plugin short code, and let's just say that short code, just to make that a little more clear, then if you were to replace this, then it would echo out the short code for your support form. And then you would have the option to have a form there as well. Now I don't have a form plugin installed on this demo site, so I'm not gonna worry about that, but that's all you have to do. So let's save and activate this one and go take a look at our front end. So here we are back on the account page. I'm gonna zoom out just a hair on the account page. So you can see I have dashboard, or actually let's refresh because I inactivated that other script. So you can see that I'm hiding my downloads and my subscriptions. And you can see now I have a support tag there. So if I click on my support tab, it's gonna give me an oops, page cannot be found. So it's giving me a 404. And the reason why is because like we say up here at the top of the script, resave your permalinks or it will give you a 404 error. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's come to our settings and our permalinks. And the reason for this is because we're actually updating, we're giving it a custom slug and we need to resave our permalink. So we don't need to change anything in our permalinks, just come down and resave. And then if we come back to our account page, we refresh and we click on our support tab. Now we're gonna be given our support message. And if we had, of course, that form short code, we could be loading a form right here. And this just allows us to have a little more control over the My Account page. You can pop through and customize all of your different tabs. You can remove and hide tabs that you don't want, and you can add custom tabs to your My Account page with maybe even like tutorials. You could have some video tutorials for members, or you could have like a support tab is really awesome, or you can really do whatever you want just by customizing these scripts that we've supplied. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. 
please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Really helps the channel. If you have any video requests or anything that you were wanting to do, be sure to request that as well in the comments. I'll get that in the queue and we'll make a video for your video request. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I will have a blog post that contains all of these code snippets so you can go and copy them and then just tweak them and add them to your website so that you can customize your account page to be exactly what you need it to be. Once again, my name is Sterling with Handsome WP. We have created a suite of plugins that work with WooCommerce and they help uh, upsell products. One of our products is called One Click Upsell. It will help you upsell and downsell products and increase your revenue. And the other one is called Handsome Checkout that just will help you increase your conversions. We have beautiful checkout templates and allows you to do a one click or a, a one page WooCommerce checkout that looks really nice. You can add testimonials and trust seals and all kinds of stuff that's just by default not included in the WooCommerce checkout page. Um, so if you have any questions or you want to learn about that, I will have the links in the description below. I want to thank you guys once again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.